Good evening. They might have done quite a bit of refurbishment work on this stadium in recent seasons, but it still has a refreshingly old-fashioned quality about it. We're at Anfield. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is Liverpool up against Inter. Well, it's exciting to watch as supporters and commentators alike, like me and you, Derek. I can guarantee that the players will be nervous as heck. Really big night for both teams. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joel Matip in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And leading the attack today is the ultimate pressing machine, Roberto Firmino. Well, words that resonate with football fans the world over, whether Liverpool supporters or not. This is Anfield. Well, it is, and that is the cop behind the goal. Probably one of the most famous, iconic stands in world football. And a look at the Inter team. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Now Brozovic. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And Raja Nangolan. Mauro Icardi in the centre. Terrific reflex action. Yeah, you've just got to come out and spread yourself and hope for the best. This is Asamoah. Perisic with the ball. I'm not afraid. He's likely asking himself, why did I shoot from so far out? Well, he's not the only one. I'm asking him and all his teammates are too. Vecino. Can they cut up in the defence with a through ball? Carrying a genuine threat here. Corner kick the referee's verdict. Anytime. And Perisic takes it forward. He has teammates he can play it to. This is Salah. And he's in the clear. It has to be, surely. And a goal. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in, tactics have got to change. Well, just look at this, they all back off him, and he takes the advantage, he goes through one, two, three. And in the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. Let's have another view of that goal. Roberto Firmino, Wijnaldum. Henderson has it, and Salah! And it's in for Liverpool! Is there a way back for the opposition now? Well, here's a 
the replay. I'm sure the keeper will be looking at his defenders, but what can they do? It's a lovely strike off his laces in the back of the net. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Roberto Firmino. And they could do damage. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique, and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. to Liverpool and played short is he going to punish them here and a goal It's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper couldn't do anything about it. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? And so this first leg is no more. The referee blows for full time, and European nights mean so much to Liverpool. They find themselves with the advantage going into the return match. Well, Derek, with the lead going into the second leg, it's all about concentration, it's all about mind games, mental strength. Can they force that advantage home in the second leg? Well, I can't wait for that game, and then there's a final round the corner. A huge night at a great stadium. We're here at the San Siro. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And it is advantage Liverpool as we go into the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Inter taking on Liverpool. Cruise control. That's Liverpool in that first leg, Derek. Dominated up front, brilliant in midfield, solid at the back. Goalkeeper is not bad either. Absolutely brilliant.
at the Inter team. Guadalupe Azamoa plays with Shime Versalco as fullbacks. And the idea tonight is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting 11. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. And Nangolan gets himself into the advanced position. Icardi waits. Rosovic. Real chance. It's fair to say that is a moment he would love to have back, Lee. Well, I would have gone for power, but he went to place it in the corner. Not very good at all. Others in the vicinity. And now Jordan Henderson. Could it be Oxlade-Chamberlain? The crossbar got in the way. Brozovic. Politano. Mauro Icardi here. Vecino. Can they convert? Touched onto the woodwork. And cleared away. Well, I can't believe he's still... Here's Oxlade-Chamberlain. Henderson. Roberto Firmino. Mane! Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. Well, he got the touch on the ball, and so a corner it'll be. Well, we always think we know exactly what we saw, but on these occasions, the goal decision system comes in handy, Lee. Well, not on this occasion, because it wasn't a goal. We can all see that, but <laughs> we'll have another look at it. The tighter issues, yes, but sometimes technology gets in the way. That's just a waste of space. <laughs> Roberto Firmino! And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been insane. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, just look at this cross, Derek. It's all about the ball in the box. It's a brilliant effort, and it's a great goal to boot. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Lana. Henderson. Oxlade Chamberlain. Salah. Opportunity knocks. And a goal! Well, it's not a brilliant goal, but it's a goal. It's in the back of the net. Keeper can do anything about it. Analysis as regards the goal. And now it is all over. Liverpool have ascended to the high altar of the Champions League final. Well, because of what's at stake, i.e. a final, semi-finals can be a bit nervy at times. Not the case this time, the semi-final was a breeze. An easy march to that big game. Can't wait for the final, to be honest with you. Let's wait and see whether they can produce what they did in the semis.